What's up guys and welcome for this video and this is another suspect video really about Landris and basically I'm just going to share my own thoughts about it. Obviously I'm not a huge higher tier battler and you guys know that but um, at the same time uh, since this is a suspect I just want to share my own thoughts you know things are worth thinking about when it comes to Landris because um, I've read through the forums and um, I'll say um, I'll definitely give this guy, like, I tried this thing out myself and um, I can see why it is a suspect. It's one of those Pokemon that it's not really, it's not really overly powerful. It's not really that that is the issue. The issue is rather the lack of counters and how hard it is to kind of hard war it or even go so far and say that you can you know, definitely deal with this. And the things that is to make this Pokemon that unique is the same reason I think Mega Mobile was found back in the days. And uh, this thing was banned back in Generation 5, and it's probably not been an agenda due to Mega Pokemon's just being all over the place. It's finally come to that position now where Landorus is just so flexible, really. Yeah, and that's the right word for it. Uh, with Shear Force, and of course, combination with Life Orb, this thing hits extremely hard. It's move pool, it's very, very good, it's very broad. Earth Power hurts <laughs> quite a lot, actually. And it's fast enough to deal with a lot of counters, and, uh, and it, the only thing that doesn't really outspeed and can't deal with it is, of course, the Auras um, Mega Evolution that's going to be Lupani and Mega Mega Gross and stuff like that. But very few of them can really, they have to be Mega Vault facing it, they can't switch in on it. And um, I think that's the biggest issue that you can't really come in on it as a Pokemon. I mean, I know that Mega Lodios and Latias can deal with that, but usually those Pokemon are standalone Pokemon that are good enough, so people don't really care for Mega Evolving them. And um, if you're gonna need a Mega Evolution to deal with this Pokemon, then you know, you have flat issues. Um, it's weak to priority, and I guess that's why it hasn't been banned, or even a suspect as of now, right now. And um, like I said, it's weak to priority Ice Shot, it's weak to. Awkward yet, Ice Shard has a potentially of uh, actually taking it out, but like I said, the Pokemon that can utilize that move set can't come in on it. They have to force it out, and you can't really get to get the right matchup. Um, usually, when Landers comes in, something dies, and um, like I said, the move pool, physical side and the special side are just too broad. It's just too tough. Um, I've seen a lot of rock slide combinations only to deal with the Pokemon that could stand out. I've even seen the gravity teams. The gravity teams is uh, I'm just going to give a huge nod to those guys. The gravity, earth power, it was Scarf, Landorus. Yeah, that that is <laughs> that is really evil, and it works. It works extremely well because the only thing that can hit it from there is priority and of course the um, talent flame with uh, the brave bird, and there with all ends. So where it comes to me, like I said. Uh, it is in that environment, but I guess uh, type lotion kind of came in and knew that it's not too tough to deal with on its own, but it's hard to switch into. And if you can't switch in on it, then it's probably it's a bit too strong. Uh, this one definitely stand out. Whereas uh, when we say too strong, we're definitely mean a two hit KO. And um, yeah, that is something not a lot of people want to risk. So. Uh, these two weeks are probably going to be, I think it's going to be tight, I really believe that thing, yeah, everybody's in different on opinion. And that's, <laughs> that's hardly a bad thing, I definitely encourage everybody to, um, you know, if you have the chance, owe you letter to do so. Like I said, I'll see myself, myself as a, not that good of a player, so I'll, I'll avoid it, but if landers get banned, then, you know, I get it. Uh, I'll probably all for it, so I'm using it. Um, actually right now on the Lithio. Um, from time to time though I'll try different stuff but when I use Landorus uh, it definitely is a um, key sweeper. So um, yeah if Landorus go like I said I get it. I I, I think personally it, it, it might be a tad bit too strong. I'm glad it isn't faster. Had it been faster it could have been potentially broken. I'll even go so far. Shear force or power is just it's just one of those things it just it hurts so much uh, it's not able to oko uh, loop on him I found it out the hard way but uh, with hazard inbound it, yeah it's gonna go down 
I think that was a loop pony survives. Max damage on a loop pony that is not invested with a modest landris is max 95 99.4%. Just saying that makes this Pokemon kind of kind of threatening really. Have the rocks up and there is very few things again coming on it. So anyway guys, that's just my few thoughts. I actually almost pulled six minutes here by just spouting nonsense. Um, what are your own thoughts about it? Is it something you don't you know, thought about this Pokemon? Do you think it should be banned? Do you think it should stay? Uh, leave it creative and you know good comments below and you know I'll read them and check them out. Uh, and yeah, with all that in my guys, I think you watching always and don't forget to leave a like and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and remember Landers is the ground runner and have a good day and take care, alright? Bye.